good morning yesterday we started with the topic trigonometric functions the first part was trigonometric equation an equation containing the trigonometric functions of unknown angles is called a trigonometric equation what is the solution of a trigonometric equation the value of the unknown angle which satisfies the equation is obviously called the solution of the trigonometric equation right actually there are two types of solutions principal solution and general solution the solutions of a trigonometric equation of an unknown angle x where zero less than or equal to x less than 2 pi are called its principal solution what is general solution the solutions of a trigonometric equation which are generalized by using its periodicity are called its general solution this table is important what is the general solution of sin theta equal to 0 theta is n pi where n is an integer now n will always be an integer you have to write this when you solve uh, sums of this type cos theta equal to 0 theta is 2n plus 1 pi by 2 tan theta equal to 0 theta is n pi sin theta equal to sin alpha theta is n pi plus minus 1 raised to n alpha cos theta equal to cos phi uh, sorry cos theta equal to cos alpha theta is 2 n pi plus minus alpha tan theta equal to tan alpha so theta is n pi plus alpha for sin square theta equal to sin square alpha cos square theta equal to cos square alpha tan square theta equal to tan square alpha we have theta equal to n pi plus minus alpha is that clear so this table uh, is very very important now uh, question 5 find the general solutions of the following equations first one this is first one sin 2 theta is half but sin pi by 6 is half now what is the solution for sin theta equal to sin alpha theta is n pi plus minus 1 raised to n alpha but here it is 2 theta so 2 theta equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to n pi by 6 but we are interested in theta so divide by 2 so theta equal to n pi upon 2 plus minus 1 raised to n pi by 12 where n is an integer second tan of 2 theta by 3 is root 3 but tan 60 degrees that is tan pi by 3 is root 3 actually uh, i should not have written just pi by 3 uh, i should have written tan pi by 3 i'll make that change sorry this should be tan pi by 3 no not pi by 3 now what is the general solution see gs is not the standard short form you have to write general solution it is what 2 theta by 3 equal to n pi plus pi by 3 but we are interested in theta so multiply throughout by 3 by 2 to get general solution as what as theta equal to 3 n pi by 2 plus pi by 2 where n is an integer third one cot 4 theta is minus 1 so what will be tan 4 theta it's reciprocal again minus 1 but tan pi by 4 is 1 so tan 4 theta is minus tan pi by 4 now tan of pi minus theta is minus tan theta so minus tan pi by 4 is tan of pi minus pi by 4 that is tan of 3 pi by 4 so equation becomes tan 4 theta equal to tan 3 pi by 4 now use general solution for tan theta equal to tan alpha so 4 theta please do not write theta you have to write this angle so 4 theta is n pi plus this alpha 3 pi by 4 n is an integer but we are interested in theta so divide by 4 so theta is n pi by 4 plus 3 pi upon 16 where n is an integer question 6 find the general solutions of the following equations first one 4 cos square theta equal to 3 so what is cos square theta 3 by 4 3 by 4 is square of root 3 by 2 now root 3 by 2 is cosine ratio of which angle 30 degrees that is pi by 6 so equation becomes cos square theta equal to cos square pi by 
So what is the general solution? Theta equal to n pi plus minus pi by six, where n is an integer. Second, four sine square theta is one. So what is sine square theta? One by four, which is square of half. Now half is nothing but sine thirty degrees. That is sine pi by six. So equation becomes sine square theta equal to sine square pi by six. So what is the general solution? Theta equal to n pi. Plus minus pi by six, where n is an integer. Now this is interesting. Actually, there are two methods. Equation is cos four theta equal to cos two theta. So what is four theta? It is two n pi plus minus two theta, where n is an integer. Now we will consider plus and minus separately, taking positive sign. So four theta equal to two n pi plus two theta. I omitted one step. Bring this term to LHS. Four theta minus two theta is what? Two theta. So two theta is two n pi. So it is theta n pi, where n is an integer. Considering negative sign, so four theta equal to two n pi minus two theta. When this goes to LHS, becomes six theta. Six theta equal to two n pi. So it is theta. Two n pi upon six, that is n pi by three. So the general solution. Is theta equal to n pi, where n is an integer, or theta is n pi upon three, where n is an integer? Now it will be the second method. You can try this afterwards. See, cos four theta is cos two theta. So cos four theta minus cos two theta equal to zero. Apply cos a minus cos b formula. It is minus two sine of a plus b by two into sine of a minus b by two. So product of two sine terms is zero, and so on. You will get the same answer. In exam, you can use any one of these two methods. Seventh, find the general solutions of the following equations: sine theta equal to tan theta, that is sine by cos. Please do not divide by sine because sine can be zero. Cross multiply, rearrange the terms. Take sine theta common. To get sine theta equal to zero or cos theta minus one equal to zero, that is cos theta equal to one. Now sine theta equal to zero has general solution theta equal to n pi, where n is an integer. Cos theta equal to one, but cos zero is one. So cos theta equal to cos zero has general solution theta equal to two n pi plus minus zero, that is theta equal to two n pi, where n is an integer. Now use common sense. See, n pi covers two n pi also because n is an integer. This shows that for all integral values of n, n pi is the solution. So two n is the special case of n, right? So if you ask me, just say theta is n pi, where n is an integer, you should get full marks. But usually they don't give. So you have to write answer as write down theta equals n pi n is an integer or theta is two n pi n is an integer write down. Second, tan uh, rather tan cube theta is three tan theta. Please do not divide by tan theta because division by only non-zero number is allowed. We are not sure whether tan theta is zero or non-zero. So rearrange the terms to get tan cube theta minus three tan theta equal to zero. Take tan theta common to get tan square theta minus three equal to zero. So either tan theta is zero or tan square theta is three. Now tan theta equal to zero has general solution theta equal to n pi, where n is an integer. Tan square theta is three. Now three is square of root three, but tan pi by three is root three, so equation becomes tan square theta equal to tan square pi by three. And what is the general solution? It is theta equal to n pi plus minus pi by three. N belongs to Z, that is set of integers. So final answer should be general solution is theta equal to n pi n is an integer 
or theta equal to n pi plus minus pi by 3. n is an integer. Third one, this is an important one. Cos theta plus sin theta is 1. Basically, it is 1 cos theta plus 1 sin theta, right? So divide throughout by root of 1 square plus 1 square, that is root 2. In general, if it is a cos theta plus b sin theta, you have to divide throughout by what? Root of a square plus b square, as simple as that. So it is 1 upon root 2 cos theta plus 1 upon root 2 sin theta is 1 by root 2. Now replace this 1 by root 2 by cos pi by 4 and this by sin pi by 4. Cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta is cos of alpha minus beta. Now you know what is general solution of cos theta equal to cos alpha. So it is in this case theta minus pi by 4 equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 4. Now first consider positive sign and then consider negative sign. So considering positive sign, theta minus pi by 4 is 2n pi plus pi by 4. Bring this to RHA. So 2 times pi by 4, that is pi by 2. So general solution is theta equal to 2n pi plus pi by 2. n is an integer. Considering negative sign, bring this to RHS. So in fact, there is no need of uh, bringing into RHS. This gets cancelled. So theta is 2n pi. n is an integer. So what should be the final answer? 2n pi plus pi by 2 n is an integer or 2n pi n is an integer. Question 8. Which of the following equations have solutions? First one, cos 2 theta is minus 1. Can cosine ratio be minus 1? Yes, it can be. But while writing, you have to say that minus 1 less than or equal to cos alpha less than or equal to 1 for any real alpha. And therefore, we have to say that cos th uh, 2 theta equal to minus 1 definitely has solution. Second, cos square theta equal to minus 1. Impossible because cos theta is always real and square of any real number is don't say positive, say non-negative because zero is a real number. Its square is zero, which is neither negative nor positive. So I have written cos theta is a real number. So cos square theta has to be greater than or equal to zero. So cos square theta equal to minus one has no solution. Third one, two sine theta is three. So sine theta is three by two. Now, can sine theta be greater than one? No, because sine theta has to lie between minus 1, 1, both inclusive. So 2 sin theta equal to 3 has no solution. Fourth one, 3 tan theta equal to 5. So what is tan theta? 5 by 3. Now, is this correct? Is this valid? Yes, because tan theta can assume any real value. And therefore, we have to say given equation is either solvable or you may say given equation has solution. Uh, the next one is not from the textbook actually, but it is good one. Find general solution of 4 sin x cos x plus 2 sin x plus 2 cos x plus 1 equal to 0. So take 2 sin x common from the first two terms to get 2 cos x plus 1. Take 1 common from last two terms to get again 2 cos x plus 1. So this is 2 sin x plus 1 into 2 cos x plus 1 equal to 0. So either 2 sin x plus 1 is 0, that is sin x is minus half, or 2 cos x plus 1 is 0, that is cos x is minus half. We begin with sin x equal to minus half, that is minus sin pi by 6. But sin of pi plus theta is minus sin theta. So this becomes sin x equal to sin 7 pi by 6. So what is the general solution? Theta equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to n, 7 pi upon 6 n is an integer. Now cos x is minus half. Cos pi by 3 is half. So minus half is minus cos pi by 3. Cos of pi minus theta is minus cos theta. So ultimately it is cos x equal to cos 2 pi by 3. So what is the general solution? x equal to 
uh, in the previous case also it should have been x equal to now i have written x equal to previously it was theta equal to this is correct x equal to so here x is what 2n pi plus minus 2 pi by 3 so it should be the final answer it should be x equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to n 7 pi by 6 n is an integer or x equal to 2n pi plus minus 2 by th uh, 2 pi by 3 n is an integer okay so that's it for today